Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel with the Base Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I teach you the multi compression system with flash intercooler, flash chamber, water intercooler, and subcooler. So, this system contains all the devices. And I explain you schematic diagram, how to draw schematic diagram, various component functions, how to draw pH diagram by one by one points, by EC techniques, and equations of the COP. Subscribe my channels for watch more video. The subscriptions by you is give us motivations to make more video. Now next we move towards the figure and I also explain the function of individual components so you easily understand it. So this the system is multi compression with flash intercooler, flash chamber, water intercooler and subcoolers. Multi compression means it is have two evaporators sorry two compressors and one flash intercooler, flash chamber, water intercooler and subcooler then one condensers and only one evaporators ok that it, it is only mentioned multi compression then you need to throw only two compressions ok so we starting from the low pressure compressor that is uh, it is also known as compressor 1 in this compressor the vapor refrigerant at the low pressure coming out from the evaporator is supplied into this compressor and point number 1 and outlet point is the point number 2 so 1 to 2 is an isentropic compression process isentropic means that constant entropy isentropic compression is takes place now then after we draw the 1 to 2 points on the pH diagram so it is a pressure and x axis the enthalpy for the constant enthalpy we draw vertical line for constant pressure we draw the horizontal lines and this is the saturation curve here the critical point from the critical point left side it is a saturated vapor sorry liquid line and from the right side it is a saturated vapor line and this is the superheated region if you want to completely understand of the radius line on the pH diagram then the link is provided on the top right screen from where you can watch the video and it is you can easily understand the pH diagram that is nothing is difficult for understanding the pH diagrams now point number one it is on to the low pressure that means it's come in this down downside regions okay in the bottom regions of the curve and the point one is the vapor that is coming out from the evaporator so it is vapor region so the point number one is come on this saturated vapor line and low pressure that means it's coming in the bottom region somewhere on this region okay so we put the point number one now from the point number one it is isentropic compression means the at constant entropy so from point number one we follow constant entropy line up to the intermediate pressure because in compressor the compression it takes place from low pressure to the intermediate pressure so from point one we follow constant entropy line up to intermediate pressure and we get the point number two then after is superheated vapor at the intermediate pressure is supplied into the water intercooler in water intercooler with the help of the water we reduce the temperatures of the refrigerant coming out from the low pressure so refrigerant is passing inside the tube and outside the tube water is available that's why it is known as the water intercooler suppose the temperature of refrigerant coming out from compressor is 120 then we reduce the temperature up to the 100 or 10 or 20 degree okay so it is a outlet point is the point number three so it is a one type of heat exchanger so at the constant pressure heat rejection is takes place for the constant pressure we draw the horizontal lines so from the point two which side we indicate the point number three left side or right sides so temperature is reduced then the point is move inside so point number three is come in the inside from the point number two and it is the horizontal because pressure is constant so it is a point number three then after it is supplied into the flash intercooler at flash chamber so what is the function of flash intercooler so flash means it is a partially saturated vapor intercooler means reduce the temperature of refrigerants between the two compressors so refrigerant coming out from the water intercooler is supplied into the flash intercooler flash means it is a partially saturated vapor coming out from the expansion device so with the help of this saturated vapor or the partially saturated vapor we reduce this temperature of that and its mass is m1 then this three point is the superheated so it is converted into the saturated vapor after the cooling so it is a mass m2 that is a 
mass of refrigerant coming out from the intercooler and it is supplied into the compressor and point number 4. So where the point number 4 is come? So it is a outlet from the intercooler and its condition is the saturated. So point number 4 is come into the saturation line and at the intermediate pressure this is a point number 4. Then this condition of refrigerant is supplied into the high pressure compressor or the compressor tool. In the high pressure compressor the pressure of the refrigerant is increased from intermediate pressure to the high pressure or condenser pressures and it is the outlet point is the 5 and 4 to 5 is isentropic compression process so from the point 4 we follow the constant entropy line up to the high pressure so it is the 4 to 5 line okay so here we get the point number 5 then this refrigerant is supplied into the condenser what is condenser is one type of heat exchangers in which we reject the heat to the atmospheres by using the fan or by using the water then the outlet point is the 6 from the condenser when the heat exchanger it is constant pressure or means isobaric heat rejection so from the point 6 it is follow either left side or right sides but we know that at the inlet of the condenser it is a vapor and outlet it is a liquid so we draw the horizontal line from the point 5 towards the left sides okay because it's converted into the liquid so we get the point number 6 then this liquid refrigerant at the high pressure is supplied into the subcooler now what is the subcooler subcooler is one type of heat exchangers in which we reduce the temperature of refrigerant coming out from the condensers by using the subcoolings we are able to increase the refrigerating effect of the evaporators and COP of the wall systems that means coefficient of performance then coming out is the point 7 so after the 6 and 7 the condition is same that is liquid but in the liquid temperature is changed suppose at the point 6 it is 35 degree temperature so point 7 will reduce it, it is a 20 or 25 so point is moved towards the left side because it is in the subcooled liquid regions it is not move right side because it is a weight region okay so we moving it's for the left side and it's point number seven then this refrigerant is supplied into flash chamber and flash intercooler okay so in between we require to install the one expansion device because the pressure after the subcooler is high pressure and the pressure in the flash in chamber or intercooler is the intermediate pressure so we put the one expansion device in that expansion is takes place and pressure is changed from high pressure to intermediate pressures and its process is 7 to 8 when the refrigerant passing from the expansion valve it is a isenthalpic process enthalpy is constants so from point 7 line is moving which side either upward or downwards but we know that in the expansion valve the pressure is reduced so it is moving towards the downward sides so it is then 7 to 8 lines now by using the eight conditions of the refrigerants in the eight conditions there is a liquid and vapor is also there and we are try to reduce the temperatures of the refrigerant coming out from water intercooler so both the processes takes place from the point eight liquid is separated and vapor is separated and we also do the cooling of the refrigerant coming out from water intercooler so from eight we see that here it is a mixture of liquid and vapor so what we do the vapor is supplied into the compressor too so we throw the horizontal line towards the saturated vapor line so it is supplied there and the liquid presence at the point 8 is supplied into second expansion valve so we here transferring that point number 8 onto the saturated liquid lines then 8 to 9 process that is the point number 9 then we need to supply the refrigerants into the evaporators but here in the intermediate pressure in the evaporator we require low pressure for better refrigerating effect so we put one expansion valve here in expansion valve we reduce the pressure from intermediate pressure to the low pressures and it's the process 9 to 10 and it is isenthalpic expansion so enthalpy is remains constant so we draw the vertical line either downward direction of upper but we know the pressure is reduced and always the point is moving downward sides so it is the 9 to 10 process then it is supplied into the evaporators to absorb the heat from the space okay so evaporator is one type of heat exchanger it absorbs the heat 
suppose in the we talking about the phrase so in the phrase we are putting the some vegetables and fruits and the water for making the ice so refrigerant is absorbed to heat from these all vegetables and fruits so refrigerant temperature is increased either its temperature is not increased and its phase is changed from the the liquid regions to the vapor regions so 10 to 1 process is takes place and the mass of the refrigerant is m1 so 10 at the point 10 it start to absorbing heat so it's converted into the vapor phase at the outlet of the evaporator so 10 to 1 point is joined so here it is a liquid plus vapor region and it's converted into the fully vapors now next we do the energy balance of this flash chamber and flash intercooler and what is the work done supplied to that evapor compressors and also find out refrigerating effect and equation of the COP so by using this schematic diagram we easily write down the all the equations if you learn then like the video and subscribe my channels so from suppose you are solving the examples then you have given evaporator temperature condenser temperature or pressure compressor temperature and pressure temperature of refrigerant after water intercooler condenser pressure or temperature is given and temperature of the refrigerant after subcoolers so by using these all parameters you draw the ph diagram suppose r12 is given then draw the diagram on r12 that we already learned okay and already refrigerating effect is given and you tell to find out m1 m2 mass and what the work done and what is the cop of the system so first we find out the mass of refrigerants in evaporator or compressor and it is denoted as the m1 so it is evaporator mass m1 so refrigerating effect is given then we easily write down the refrigerating effect is equal to m1 into enthalpy difference that is a from outlet of evaporator 1 that is h1 and inlet of the evaporator h10 so re1 is equal to m1 in bracket h1 minus h10 from this equation we find out the m1 now next question is how to find out the m2 so m2 is find out by doing the energy balance in the flash chamber and flash intercooler so we write down the energy balance equation from one side inlet is equal to another side outlet both energy is equal so in this system we know that is a two inlet and two outlet this is the first one is inlet from water intercooler second from expansion valve and two outlet this one outlet and another is second outlet so we draw the one new figure for finding out this M2 energy balance in flash intercooler and the flash chamber. So one inlet that is after water intercooler mass is M1.3 so it is written as H3. Another inlet from expansion valve that is mass M2 enthalpy H3. Okay so it is written on left side and equal to the outlet so that is a two outlet. First one is supplied to the compressor that is M2 into H4. So mass M2 0.4 so it is written as H4. Another outlet that is a mass M1 and the 0.9 so it is into the H9. So we making one equation on the left side we write down the summation of the two inlet on the right side we writing the summation of the two outlet. So by using this equation we find out the mass of M2. Then next find out the work done supplied to the compressor that is denoted as W or P. So W or P is equal to that is a two compressor then we write down the summation of the two work done. So in compressor 1 mass of the refrigerant is M1 and change in enthalpy is H2 minus H1. Sorry H2 minus H1. In second compressor it is a mass M2 and enthalpy is H5 minus H4. So this is the equation for work done or power. Next writing the COP is refrigerating effect upon work done. So here equation of refrigerating effect and this is the equation of work done putting on these equations and putting the value you have find out the cop thank you for watching the video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and share with your friends